Peter's guest today is living proof that you can start over, and now she's helping other people to start over when they're down. She's the author of I'm Dancing As Fast As I Can. Peter? Thanks, Jill. Barbara Gordon is going to have to explain to us what the title of that book means, and then we'll get into the uh, discussion about what you are doing here this weekend. How did the title of that book come about? Anyway? Oh, well, it was the punchline to my favorite joke, and uh -huh. so I used it. The joke real fast. Man and a woman meet on a dance floor in a singles resort. The man says, I'm only here for the weekend. The woman answers, I'm dancing as fast as I can. <laughs> so when it came to putting a title on a book I've been writing about myself, I just thought of that and used it, and it became... Now, the book ties into what you're doing this weekend only through your personal experience yeah right, right. and i mean saint francis is having these incredibly useful things for families right. and workshops and seminars throughout the year and um tomorrow's is about self-esteem and getting a certain kind of confidence well having lost all of mine in a few weeks and the laborious job of putting my life back together i found some things that helped and some things that didn't along the way. You, know, you said something interesting, having lost all of mine in a few weeks. It was well, what seen did, that way. Yeah. Well, when I went off of tranquilizers, mm -hmm. which I wanted to do, and mm -hmm. the doctor said, go off quickly. You're not supposed to go off quickly. You're supposed to go oh, off I slowly. See. I lost my identity, my career, mm -hmm. a couple year of my life. Yeah. And I really had to start over again in the middle of my life and I didn't have a clue nobody teaches you how to mm -hmm. do that in right. high school or college right. and so I did lose and but when you we were talking just before the show when you do get it back that feeling of who you are and being centered I'm not talking about narcissistic self-love mm -hmm. I'm talking mm -hmm. about the kind of confidence and the kind of self-esteem that keeps you out of trouble it's very sweet Going to a family workshop, like the one at St. Francis this weekend, isn't it a little bit like preaching to the choir? Aren't, aren't the people who, they aren't. I don't think so. I don't think the people, I think the people who want to come to the, all the ones they've had this year are, is not preaching to the choir because we're not talking, let's say, to psychologists and therapists and counselors. We're talking to people. The people who actually is, have the problems are the ones are who the are the ones who up. respond to the ad or to a show like this. Uh -huh. So it's not, it's trying to get out of the choir and not talk to the initiated, to talk to those people who are looking for clues about how to get some control of their own life. I guess the, the message is if you thought that you would go there and be the only one there with a problem, don't worry about it because there will be lots of people there with problems. I, I guess including me. <laughs> and, well, if I was to show up, I would be included among those with problems, uh, I'm sure. Uh, uh, yes, and you'd be welcome. Well, I have to decide between the boat show and, uh, no. I would go to the boat show if I were you. <laughs> I don't have enough problems. In, in any case, uh, what can people expect to hear when they get there? Well, there are going to be uh, several workshops before mine. I mm -hmm. speak in around noon or 12.30. But for me, they're just, I hope they hear, have some laughs along the mm -hmm. way because I don't speak in evangelical certitude <laughs> or this is no sermon. It's just some thoughts about starting over and some tricks I learned only by looking back with 2020 hindsight mm. do I know what I did right because as I said when I got out of the hospital and began again there wasn't anyone there to say this is how you do it mm -hmm. we're all working without a net when it comes to this one well now you'll be able to tell some of those people how to do it or give them some ideas anyway. yeah I mean like one of them being that instant gratification which our culture is an yes. instant there isn't any. Yeah, when, when it, this is one foot in front of another, and you've got to have a certain type of patience that okay. it's going to change. Well, Barbara Gordon, thanks for coming. Thanks for asking All me right. here. Jill? One step at a time. And our next step, Chef Nunzio is up next with an easy-to-fix gourmet dinner recipe. Stay with us.